you know, okay, in my last video I was talking some crap about uh, Twilight and my reading out loud has a lot to be said. You know, I didn't want to be the one to keep looking up, like, you know, reading. But I actually had to write this down, you know, to, you know, limit my review. Kind of make it a little better. But yeah, Edward is really freaking gay. I mean, he can't take the signal that that chick loves her. But she can't take the signal that he's not interested ever since she turned him gay. Now, Taylor Lautner, or Shark Boy, is now Jacob. You know, even he's on, you know, Twilight. You know, that, that kind of got me thinking. Yeah, I'm not going to touch into the subject, you know, it's, you know, disgusting to think. But he's got his unruly hair that would I hate, and he's... I'm going to look at him. You can actually find a picture. Jacob from Twilight. Search on Google, search. And you can see. Yeah, he's been spending too much time with Edward. Yeah. And I actually have to take the time to learn the names while watching the movie so I can be able to review this. And yeah, I know this review is late. I get it. But I wanted to review the movie. I wanted to talk about the movie. I barely got to review any of my movies. I can talk about, you know, Tooth Fairy a little later. But you know, I think if you watch, I mean, if you saw the preview with Dwayne The Rock Johnson and his tutu, you know what I mean when it's, it's, it's killing the action hero genre. Now, I know what you're thinking. He's turned into a family man. He's pulling the old Jackie Chan and Ben Diesel out thing. But I remember when he was always in those action movies. And, I mean, that's what I hate. You know, Jackie Chan may be getting old and it's just his, you know, I mean, he just doesn't want to break any more bones. He's actually put himself through a lot of crap to make these movies real. But they're turning in, him into a family man. Why can't they just use stunt doubles? Turn him into the action hero we love, but him not really doing the real stunts. We know he's putting his body through a lot of crap. <sighs> Allergies. <clears throat> anyway, Vin Diesel. After, you know, after being in the pacifier, I think, where he's going to be leading. He's always in, um, what was it? Oh, Fast and the Furious. Now, he's not spread his, you know, his variety. Now, I'm going to explain. You know, Twilight is, it would, have, it would have had a lot of potential if the characters weren't so bland. And if, you know, Bella Swan would not be so... Crazy. crazy. Yeah, she's freaking... You know, she's... You know, I, you know, I actually saw the spill review. And it's a... The second movie, Bella, crazy as hell. Now Twilight Eclipse is out, and I beg the Lord not for anyone to force me to watch the movie. And you know, it, I still say it's a kind of good movie. You you gotta admit the scenery's okay. You know, all the things she's given is I mean, is pretty good. But the thing is, she I mean, she pays no mind. You know, if she actually grew her brain. I mean, if she actually grew a brain, which I doubt it, I mean, I think it's a little too late, she would have taken advantage of being rich. You know, she's got a dad named Charlie, chief of police. Now, you don't, I mean, now, tell me there's no potential in that. Just tell me. <laughs> and, you know, even worse is in the middle of the movie, she's barely doing anything, you know, for herself or any other guy. And she, you see a lot of couples at the dance or the prom or anything. And they got someone. They've had someone with them. But guess what happened then? Hmm? hmm? You, can you fill in the blanks? She's with a cold, old vampire. Now, I know Smosh explained that, you know, Bella making out with an old vampire, you know, been 17 for a while. But give me a break, people. You know, I mean, with her... I, I just don't know what to explain for this. Now, he's a strong vampire, we get it, but he's, you know, I even purposely made the mistake of saying, <clears throat> in my contest, I'm actually going to have you, I mean, it's a survey. And actually, whoever wins, and whoever's more brunch, I'll kick the loser in the nut if I ever meet the celebrity. I and mean, that's what that's what I even guaranteed when I meet the Jonas brothers. I kick Nick, uh, Kevin, and Joe all I mean all three of them in the nuts. 
because they're so. I mean, they're so. I hate them. They're the worst team celebrities I've ever had. I mean, ever had the pleasure of you know. I mean, knowing their show. <clears throat> now, first of all, I do think you know Bella and every other character is very bland. I get that. And they ruined the movie. I mean, it, when everyone was playing the piano, that was pretty good. But I did not, you know, like the characters. Now, I know what you're thinking. Is Marathon Vlogger faggot? No. No. That's just the thing is I wanted to review a movie, find its own potential, see how good it was. You know, I, I'm kind of in the borderline of, you know, liking it and hating it. Now, I've never read the books, for one. I've barely given a damn about it. And the crap I'm talking about it, I mean, the movie, is, you know, not going to get me laid in time soon. So, I can just cross that off. But yeah, Bella should have grown a brain, so, you know, she could have had everything, though. You know, she could have enjoyed it. She's even got people in the school who care about her. Now, that's kind of rare, but she's got people who actually care. She could have had great friends, and she could have actually been another Paris Hilton. Now, tell me. She's hot, sure she's got a flat chest, but you know, other than that, she's got a great ass. And tell me, just tell me, when you were watching the movie, you weren't thinking of Tap and Bella. Yeah. You know, Edward can read minds, and he, in the movie, he said, you know, he thought it, I mean, he heard the disgusting things the guys were going to do to her. I mean, that's when he rescued Bella for like five, for her 500th time. He's turning into a regu regular Mario. Mustache, so newsboy hat, overalls. He's gonna become Mario, and Bella's gonna be Princess Peach. But I, I, I mean, I want to digress. The, I mean, the movie, you know, was okay. You know, I, I'm, I'm gonna pull the Cisco and Ebert. I mean, do the middle of the Cisco and Ebert. No thumbs up, no thumbs down. Just in the middle. I'm in the borderline of hating and liking. No, I'm like, um, between. I mean, the girls like the movie. Straight guys hated the movie, and you know I'm not gay or anything. I'm just straight in the middle. I don't, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna see New Moon, and hope to God it doesn't scar me for life. And I'm gonna see uh, Eclipse, and tell me, I'll tell you what you, what I think. So, but I'll actually you know explain to you my you know. I could have watched something better than Twilight at the moment. So I want to give my opinion. I mean, like I said before, scenery was great, the music was good, just the characters pissed me off. So, yeah. I and mean, I can see, you know, I wrote a whole, whole page, you know, stuff. I, I, wanted, I wanted to explain. So I was kind of stuttering, you know, for Just, really, really, I mean, if you saw the movie and you actually pay attention to it, wanting to go into depth of it and trying to see what it was about, you can you you can definitely say for certain that the characters are so bland and you never saw, I mean and so pale white that you didn't give a damn. And and when Edward actually saved Bella's life, it was a black guy driving the car. Now isn't there a sign of racism there? Yeah, definitely. I mean that that's actually when Bella and Edward fall in love. So I guess he's I mean the black guy's an accidental accidental Cupid, but I mean really pay attention to the movie because you know it's good. I mean when you have the special effects and the scenery and the music, and that's the only subject I have. I'm not gonna ex explain the storyline that thoroughly. You gotta see the movie. I know it's gonna piss you off, but just see it. You know, give it him. I actually have it on my DVR, you know, you know, recording, you know, using a Comcast box if you have it. I mean, a Comcast box or um, Disney Network, you can record the movie and see it for free. You got a wide variety of channels. But if you see the movie, tell me what you think. Tell me if you give a damn. I, I seriously could have watched something better. Hell, I even watched that movie Sex Drive, the one with Seth Green and Andrew Zimmerman or Zuckerman. I don't know. But, you yeah. know. Um, but overall the movie was okay. Nothing special, nothing crappy, just, you know, in the, in the dad's center. So, it makes me think.